Tonight's State of the Union focused much on the unfolding crisis in Ukraine. President Biden also pledging to bring stability to the American economy. WGN political reporter Taman Bradley here with the highlights. Taman. Micah and Ray, good evening. Last year, President Biden delivered remarks in the House chamber with only a small number of lawmakers on hand. Tonight, many more members were allowed inside, and the president walked in without wearing his mask. Important symbolism for a country trying to bounce back from the COVID pandemic. President Joe Biden delivering his first State of the Union address as the world confronts Russia's unprovoked invasion of Ukraine. Mr. Biden vows Russia's aggression will not go unpunished. Six days ago, Russia's Vladimir Putin sought to shake the very foundations of the free world, thinking he could make it bend to his menacing ways. But he badly miscalculated. In addition to economic sanctions, President Biden announced new measures against Russia. We will join our allies in closing off American airspace to all Russian flights, further isolating Russia and adding additional squeeze on their economy. On the domestic front, President Biden argued his policies are fueling a pandemic recovery, and he touted his infrastructure legislation. Our economy created over 6.5 million new jobs just last year. We're done talking about infrastructure weeks. We're now talking about an infrastructure decade. Although COVID-19 has not been defeated, the president suggested America has entered a new phase in its fight against the virus. Let's use this moment to reset. So stop looking at COVID as a partisan dividing line. With prices of goods soaring, the president told Americans he gets it. His plan to fight inflation, build more products in America. Make more cars and semiconductors in America. More infrastructure and innovation in America. More goods moving faster and cheaper in America. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds just finished the Republican response. We'll have more on that at 10 o'clock. Now, can Democrats and Republicans work together before the November midterms? President Biden described the State of the Union as strong, while Republicans said earlier tonight, crisis described the State of the Union. Bring in Micah. All right, Tamon, thanks.